Welcome back to part three of the tour of the Oliver Hazard Perry engine room. I'm Jackson Rushka. Let's get started. If we have a fire on board, we have this manifold system that goes to a set of seven standpipes and fire hoses on the ship. Now we are always in an open situation, which means if there's a fire, all we need to do is turn on the pump and we are ready to fight the fire. And our pump, this pumps seawater out of the ocean into the fire hoses so that we're able to fight a fire immediately. Then we have our praxis and alarm system. This is the alarm system for the entire ship. This has bilge alarms in case we're taking on water or have a leak in one of our systems. It has machinery alarms and then this also has our monitors for our tanks, our gray water, our black water, our potable water, our fuel tanks, and it gives information for all of that. Other things that we have in our ship is our main switch gear. This shows our power usage from either the two main generators or from shore power. So let's take a look at this. Up at the top, we have our sink scope. This shows if the generators and the shore power are in synchronous with each other. Since our generators are not on, it shows that it is out of sync. Then we have our power available. Now it's showing right now that we've got just over 205, so we run at 208, so that's working well. And then we've got our shore power meter. This shows our watt hour usage, our amperage usage, and well, actually it can show us volts, amps, uh, hertz, pretty much everything. And then right here is the controller for our generator. This is for our port generator, as you can see right here at the top. It says port. So this shows the oil temperature, fuel temperature, and RPMs of the generator. If we crank that up, that'll have a constant attention on it. And then a little bit lower, you can see that we have controllers for some of our solid built-in systems on our switchboard. And then going from this, we have all of our breaker panels. This either comes from our generator or from our shore power. And we do have it broken up into different systems. So this is for our navigation shack and our emergency system. Then we also have our tween deck power board, our machinery room power board, and then our engine room power board. We also have to be able to take showers and cook food. So right there are two hot water heaters. These provide the hot water for our showers, for our sinks, and anything we need hot water for. We also have two reverse osmosis water makers. And these units are what allows us to create fresh drinking water when we're underway. This uses a very sophisticated pump and computer system that forces salt water through an incredibly, incredibly fine membrane that's so small that it's not able to have salt pass through it. So the water goes through it and the salt and the sediment get stuck in this series of filters that the only thing that gets through is just the H2O. This is our HVAC system for our air conditioning. These are condenser chillers. So this provides us with cool, livable, working and living spaces during the summertime. And then back here, we have our two water pumps. This pumps our fresh water from our tanks into our pipes and operates it at a consistent 65 PSI. And then we have this right here. This is our black water manifold. This is what creates our vacuum system for our toilets and also allows us to pump everything through the toilets into our storage tanks using these vacuum slash macerating pumps. They do the dirty work, so we don't have to. Next in our system is our tanks for our black and our gray water. These are our tank level indicators. And this is also the uh, hub for our manifold for pump outs. 
We are able to either pump directly overboard after using our macerator system, if we are the requisite 12 miles off the coast or out of the safety zone using our onboard MSD system right here. This is a macerator and separator discharge system which will clean, macerate, and roll all of the solids in our waste system before sending it overboard. But if we're going to a treatment facility like we do most of the time, we use our two discharge pumps and are able to pull from each individual tank, go through the pump, through our outfeed manifold, kind of a long way to go overboard. On our way out, we also have this. This is our oily water separator, our OWS. What it does is it takes any contaminated solution that might have petroleum in it, and we can pump it into this system, and through a series of filters and membranes, and also through a microbial uh, enzyme, we're able to remove all of the petroleum products from it. Thanks for joining me on part three of the tour of the SSV Oliver Hazard Perry. I hope you enjoyed this look deep into the bottom of it where we look through the engine room and the auxiliary room. Bye.